Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. We survived the Day 14 Horde last night and now we have to decide what we want to do with the rest of my week before the next Horde. Which I think I'm going to be aiming for the Tier 6 Complete with Trader Bob here. We're 3 Tier 5s deep into that. It takes uh, I think 9 Tier 5s to complete Tier 6 if you're going to do it that way. Which it is going to be much faster to just do tier 5 infestations than trying to do, you know, tier 5 normals or tier 6 infestations. That is just going to take you days and days and days. You could probably get the other 6 of these I need to be done in like 2 to 3 days depending on how close they are and how particularly lucky you get with the distance. Obviously we failed the passing gas number 5 because the last zombie wouldn't spawn, but uh, otherwise we're doing pretty well. Let's go inside and see if he has any good jobs here. If not, there are two other trader bobs who I can also go and check. So you've got one tier 5 infestation. No, you got two. One to the east and one to the north. Let's have a look at the one to the east. Parts rent a car again. Where is it though? And that's what I'm interested in. So Hearts rent a car is oh it's down here. Interesting. Okay, I'm considering going up to the other trader Bob's because they have two towns right next to them. So I could go to him, get a quest in this town, and then go to him and get a quest in that town as well, and get them done much faster. And then just do the other one when I have spare time. So let's go up to the other trader Bob's and see if I can find a better use for my time than going to a town I know is kind of shitty and having to come two kilometers back to get my reward. I will see you guys over there. All right, here we are, one of the other Trader Bobs. Let me go ahead and buy some food from him because I forgot to bring any. Hey, Bob, you have any good jobs? He's got one a few hundred meters to the north. It would probably be better to aim for the east with this one because if we go east, we find this town and this trader bob would also be able to give me one to one to the north so i'd be able to get those done and then come back so i'll probably take the one that's actually further away for that reason um yeah i'll take where's what's 860 meters northeast is that like there yeah that's too close let's take the one that's actually full on east yeah it looks like this is as good as i'm gonna get actually that i realize now that tier 5 is actually a regular tier 5 and that's just gonna take too long to do so I could take the northeast one and just get that done. I will still go and see the other Bob though, because he still might have something worth doing immediately. So we could do like, go there, do his job, go there, come back. Maybe even go down to the south if I get them done really quickly, but I doubt that's going to happen. Let's see if I can find something better at the other Trader Bob. Alright, final Bob. Tell me you got a good quest. Well. He's got an infested clear to the northwest. I think that would take me over to the other town, so that might be a good way of doing it. Right, does that take me? Yeah, these are right next to each other now. That works perfectly. Did I check you yet? You got stuff. I don't I don't remember. <laughs> I remember that silencer, so I think I have been here. Yeah, you're the one I bought the machete from. Yeah, it's all coming back to me now. It was yesterday. I'm 22. This is an alarming lack of short-term memory. I mean... I only have a few brain injuries. Uh, let's see. Let's head up to that and see how many of these I can get done today. Right here we are at the first POI. I have annoyed them already. I'm not even started the quest. Any more zombies in here? Now that I've started the quest. Alright, so we got four zombies there. Let's just start fighting them all. We did a lot of damage to that fence in one hit. Alright, I'm guessing a million more of you, yeah. Yeah, should we be collecting these bones and rotten flesh? I'll need them later. A radiated, two radiated mobs? What the fuck is your problem, game? What did I ever do to you? Book pile here, forge head, hunting books. Any more zombies hiding in here? No? Okay. Some bones though. I'm guessing there's gonna be someone in here though. Oh no, this just leads back to here. Okay. Oh, and that's definitely got zombies in it. Uh, it might be best to like throw one there. And then just... Yeah. 
It's a lot of zombies coming my way. I'm sorry, were you using that arm? Run and gun. <laughs> med pail with some meds. And an ammo pail with some ammo. Alright, this is a more scary area. Let me bring some frames and make a little way out if I need one. Well, just right into the action, huh? Well, let's get shooting, I guess. Oh, there's a screamer, of course there is. Forge ahead there, I can make anvils now. Did I get the screamer? I think I did. There we go, we're clear. Does this not have zombies in it though? Oh, the button doesn't work. Why? Another forge ahead there. And an armor mod I don't need. Uh, why is this button not working? Well, when in doubt, just break the button. The screamer, where is it? That's where it was anyway. Right then, back to bashing this open. Here we go. Right, what loot do we get? Ooh, security camera bundle. That's the worst. Urban combat. Not the one for cigars, unfortunately, but it's always a good book series to get. Some more ammo, armor, and ammo. Uh, two skill points there, let's bump up fortitude, and... Oh, this military chest, openable. More ammo. Let me open up this crate, shotguns, and let me pick the lock on this. Forge ahead, scrap and group on, polymer string mod, a few bits of useful ammo and stuff. Let's head over to the next quest, which is 400 meters away. Let's see if we can get that done nice and quickly. Just a duffel bag here. Blue. Yay. Do I have the water purifier mod? I do. Where's the nearest source of water? That would be there. Let's go drink that. Since I forgot to bring much else to drink. I've got some murky water there, but I'd rather save that for glue later. All right, here we are at the Judy Witch. One I've already done before. Like this exact building. I've done it like twice in this playthrough. The overall PY, not the exact building, though. Let's just do the same thing again. I don't have grenades this time, so gotta be slightly more creative. By creative, I mean just more, more bullets. It's not creativity, is it? That's brute force. Well, I need more brute force then, and I have that in spades. Another forge ahead there in that truck. Break this down quickly. Let's go up here and piss off all these. There we go. There's a little ammo pail I also get here. Five shotgun shells. That might be what saves me, you never know. Let's break this again. Piss them all off. Now, I don't have a grenade to wipe the floor with them this time, so I'm gonna just have to be ready. So, come on, make a hole in the door for me. You can do it, I believe. There we go. Quickly bash this down, and then get the loot. Here we are. Uh, another play trap bundle. Ooh, disgusting. I hate it. Disgusting. Give me something else other than 
Purity camera, dart trap, and blade trap. What am I supposed to do with those? Uh, shotguns, pump shotgun, iron arrowheads, uh, tools thingy, whatever it's called, tools digest, medical journal, and let's talk pick the hardened chest. Uh, needle and thread, a bunch of ne uh, sewing kits, diamonds, and a reflex site. Is there something that I can put my reflex site on? You know, I haven't fully modded out all my weapons. Let's chuck that on the M60. I rarely ever ADS with it, but it just gives you a damage boost, and I have nothing else to put on it right now, like a rad remover, so this works fine for me. Also, I have three ranks of learning off the land. I should really start collecting some of these vegetables. I don't think mushrooms count as a vegetable, but hey, it goes in vegetable stew, so it kind of counts. Uh, I should start getting those when I can, because I'm going to start a farm eventually, so makes sense. And now it's like actually profitable to do it with my three ranks of living off the land. Let's head round to the main part of the PY and do that. I have a great deal of ammo. I'm going to get my drone out. It'll just shut the fuck up because it's got the most annoying voice on the planet. Dump a bunch of random shit in here that I don't necessarily care about. Oh, I'm hungry again. Looks like you got anything in there? Eh, whatever. Hunger does not affect my ability to pull a trigger. Anything, I feel like it would just make me more accurate. Hey, let's get these mushrooms as well. I think there's like pumpkins outside that I may gather as well. I'll get those on the way out. There's another acid that I need for the fuel saver mod that I want. Ah, crippling mod schematic, cool. 22 cornmeal. Why is that even in a chemistry station? How many casts were you trying to make? Pop up here, open this, kill the zombie that always spawns here. Check these cupboards for food, maybe. You get rotten flesh, at least. That's future food. More pumpkins. Right, uh, I got a home cooking weekly there as well. Hello? I should run outside. books here. Uh, just a fireman's almanac I already know. Disappointing. Let's also break this door. Last room above me. There we go. That's two of them done. Um, let's have a look here. I could certainly hand in one of them, and maybe take another one, like, right here. That would maybe let me get three done today, if only getting, like, one reward, but whatever. Although I should collect all this stuff as well, because goldenrod and chrysanthemum is actually very rare in the snow biome, because it doesn't just grow in big patches. So I may need to farm this in the future. Not that I've ever crafted red tea or goldenrod, to be honest, but I just like doing this just in case. Ah, oh, screamer. Alright, there we go. Oh, there's another pumpkin over here. So I came out there with like an extra 100 goldenrod chrysanthemum and 50 pumpkins, so that's good. Let's go see the trader. Hey, Bob. Job. Level 6 impact driver? Yeah, I'll take that. An SMG5 would also be good, but I'm not spec for that and I don't really care. Uh, let's take that really close one, the oh. Super Shamley. That's gonna be awful. You got any more food? He does not have food, but I'll survive. Oh wait, dog food. Alright, here we are. Let's try and get this done before nightfall at least. See zombies? Oh, that's so many red dots. Food here. Miso soup. That'll do. Mm. 
more food here. Miso soup again. Another skill point. I'll just save that for seven fortitude. Anybody in here? Let's get some learn and elixir. Why not? Ooh. Oh, hi, another one. Someone's gonna blow up. I don't know which one of them it is. I think it's that one. Third one. Why? Fourth one. Here. There's a screamer down here. There we go. That's a lot of guys. Four of you are radiated, seriously? Streamers aren't fucking around in this biome. Oh, back onto the roof here. There's a button here and I don't trust it. I don't know what it did. Soup and a farming magazine. You're not gonna die to the Magnum, are you? I don't want to fall down here. This feels dangerous. Ooh, I hate this. Oh, it's night time. Just in time for the last couple of rooms as well. Wonderful. This is why I do these things backwards. Ugh up a better way to get out of here. Run away. Another one of those. I did get a rad room. Hello. Spooky. Anyway, as I was saying, I got a re uh, rad remover there. Put that on my magnum. Still. Eat that sham chowder. Another farming magazine. Hammered up. And farming. Let's open this. What do we get? Take planet handy land a bunch of stuff. Yep, that's good. Okay, so in the morning we'll hand in these quests and we'll do some more. Uh, let's see. That's one, two, three, four, five, six done. If I can get three more done, we'll probably be done with tier six and I can get some kind of good reward. So I will see you guys in the morning. All right, so I thought we would come out here in the morning before all the traders open and come to this other quest so that I could use my time slightly more efficiently. So if I get this done, then I only need to do two more trader quests today. And then we can just drive home and talk to that last trader and get tier 6 complete. Assuming all my math is correct, which I imagine it is. 
So I've done a Hearts rent a car in this playthrough, but have I done this one? Doesn't look like it because the door is shut, so, you know. So let's get this started, and I'll do the same as usual, where I break it open first. This is going to take a hot minute, isn't it? Damn it, I thought the button was here. I guess not. Well, let's just start a fight then, I guess. That also works. Oh, I didn't, I didn't mean to sneak attack him and kill him like that. I was trying to... I was trying to get into violence, and I was too efficient at it, and none of them noticed, and now I'm... I can't, I can't see any of them. Let's, uh... There we go, now you're waking up. Or are you not waking up? Is it too early for you guys? Fucking lazy bastards. Alright, I'm in. I just shot you in the head, why aren't you moving? Am I that stealthy? Wait. My desert vulture's making no noise when I shoot with it. <laughs> um, is that true of all the weapons? Game, are you okay? My guns are all silent. Uh, um, my melee weapon's silent? Oh my god, why are all my weapons silent? What a flawless game with absolutely no flaws. I wonder what even causes that bug. Because, like, I make noise as I move, but none of my weapons are making noise. <laughs> I did think it was weird that I was able to break in and not annoy all the zombies. I'm afraid to unstealth, because it'll probably fix it. <laughs> Alright, let's see if it actually does that. No, my guns are just silent, right? After this quest, then, I'll reset my game. I don't want to play with what is essentially a cheat, but I also don't want to waste the time I've just spent clearing this out, so I don't know, I'll have silent guns for a quest. It'll be interesting to see at least. Ah, uh, tube extender there. Bidu bottoms. Uh, two sledgehammer books. Right, let's go check the end loot here. Uh, dart trap bundle. Ooh. Ammo. Open this up. Uh. Electrical traps, scrapping for fun, tools to digest, bunch of ammo. Meds. Some ammo. Tools to digests. And magazines. Cool. Oh. Hello. Could you detect me at all? Does it think I'm invisible? I guess the game thinks I'm invisible. But I'm not literally invisible, because one, debug mode isn't on. It would show like a thing here if it was. And my gun would literally be invisible if I were invisible. You know? Because when you use the invisibility cheat, you go invisible to you as well. This is really weird. Right then. Well, let's just finish this quest. And then I'll reset my game. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty clear I don't have the AI cheat on either, because... Oh, there we go, you can see me. Yeah, because the AI just doesn't even move if you have that on. So this is a very strange bug. that makes me somehow invisible, but only partially. What did I even do in the time since the last quest? I just drove home and then drove back. I did leave the game paused for like 15 minutes. I wonder if I broke it. Maybe the game's just given up on me. It's just like, oh, you win, bro. Oh, hello. At least they're still getting hits in. They're not completely brainless. Or is it fixed? No, I'm still not making gun noise. But they are hitting me, at least, so it's not completely pointless. Something has clearly gone very wrong with the AI, though. Inventory's full already. You know, there was a 7 Days to Die update a couple of days ago. I wonder if they broke something. It was like 20 megabytes. This seems to have only just started. Maybe something's gone wrong with the Urban Combat book? That's the only thing I could think of right now, if this isn't just like a momentary bug. Maybe it just makes everything silent when you're... Well, always. 
I'm lost. Ah, down. Oh wait, up or down? Hello? Yeah, it's like I'm silent to sleepers, but if they actually see me, they can like fight me. Hello? Some of them just completely cannot see me at all. See, he wakes up. Why is this different? Well, there's two skill points. Let's get another rank of fortitude. I guess we go through here. This is so weird. It's like playing with the AI turned off, but the AI isn't turned off because they added a feature in Alpha 21 to show you that. So like if a content creator was pausing AI to get like a thumbnail and then they forgot to turn it off, there'd be a little purple icon there to tell you. The really weird part of it is it's really inconsistent who does wake up and who doesn't. Yeah, like, they're here, and they can see me. But those other ones in the other room just couldn't. You know who I blame? The drone. Things always go weird when the drone's here. You just had to knock me down there, huh? Alright, there we go, we're clear. Let's leave the game, I bet I'll get outside first, but leave the game, see if it fixes the issue. The issue being I seem to be partially invisible and silent to some enemies. That's the really weird part of it all. Only partially being invisible to some of the enemies. How does that even happen? Video games. Right. Let's reset the game, see if that fixes it. Alright, we're back in. There we go. So, shooting now makes noises again, which probably means zombies can probably see me. I don't know why I ate that. I was at full food. <laughs> that was a complete waste of an item. I'm just so used to being completely frozen that that happened. Right, let's go up to this trader and get my reward for the quest we did last night and collect quests, preferably in this town. So I can just do a nice big loop and then come back to the trader who I got that last quest from. Alright, here at one of the bobs, let's get our quest reward for our last night's work. Uh, none of that's fantastic, I don't have a rocket launcher, so I'll just take steel. Do you have any jobs, ideally, to like the northwest, maybe infested? I have a That'll have to do. Is that the one in this town? Oh no, that works, yeah, that's in the other town. Let's go talk to the other trader bob, get that quest reward and try and get another tier 5 infestation in that town, and that would mean what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1 more would be 9, and that's as many as I think I need. Alright, and here's the other trader bob, let's see what he has as a reward. Hello, it must be my uh, level 6 sniper rifle, mm, attempting, but again, I'm not really specced for it. And again, I'm not using the auger because it's just a waste of gas on this map. So, you know, I'll take a sniper rifle. I like sniper rifles. Be more ammo efficient. Oh, I should have checked the other trader, Bob. They reset today. I didn't realize that. Any vehicle parts for me, Bob? I'll take the adventures. Um, compound crossbow. No vehicle parts. None that I can see anyway. There's a lot of random shit in there. But yeah, it looks like no. I'll take that scope for the sniper rifle if I want to actually use it. I don't know. You come back sometime. It's fine, we have time to check the other trader bob again. I'm sure I'll end up there soon enough. Uh, sniper rifle. Certainly a more ammo efficient way to use my 762. Does 164 damage per shot versus the M60's 116. But the M60 does have perk modifiers, so. Nah. 
Anyway, let's see if he's got any quests that are close to the north. Yeah. The mortician's house. Perfect. Close, easy, tier 5. Can get it done and be done with tier 6 very quickly. Not sure what I'm going to do after that. But it's probably something I don't have to worry about right now. <laughs> And I need to get tier 6 in case I get something really good and it changes how I want to play. Ah, yeah, one shot. Nice. Not bad for a weapon I'm completely not spec for. Oh, there's two up here today. Ah, one shot of Feral? Oh my god, this gun is powerful. Ah, I didn't get the headshot. Tactical Warfare. Three of you in here? That's illegal. Fireman's Almanac and paper. Disappointing. Medical journal. There's a fourth one in there, but I can't see them. Time to switch to a more crowd control friendly weapon. Drone, please move. There we go. Now with my seven fortitude, I would like uh, probably get Machine Gunner 4. Oh, there's two more assets. I can probably make that Fuel Saver mod now when I want. That'll be very nice. Especially as I get closer to probably actually getting a motorcycle. Which will use more gas. What do we have here? Another Dart Trap Bundle. Ooh. Didn't bring lockpicks, or did I leave them on the drone? Scrapping for fun, armoured up, bunch of stuff. Let's go to the next POI. Alright, we're back at uh, checkpoint 4 here, so let's get this quest started. Any zombies in this area? There usually is. Nope, not today. Okay. Well, that was badly timed. Use a first aid kit just to heal the abrasion as fast as possible. here. Ah, motor tool, small tank mod. Not gonna use that. A weapons bag? No, it's luggage. Yeah, this might be another crowd control situation. the shotgun. Ooh. Ow.
Well, look, the button's at least working today. A vulture. turret bundle. At least it gives me actual ammo. Not that I use any of that ammo, but it's still better than nothing. Right, let me break open this. More acid. Right, let's go back to the traders and get my rewards, and hopefully that'll be enough to get tier 6 complete. Alright, Bob number 1. I'll take contact grenades. There's the next one. Let's go down to him. And then we'll go down to the last trader, Bob, and that should be tier 6 complete, so let's head over. Alright, Bob number 2. Give me something good. Ah, level 5 auto shotgun, perfect. Right, let's go see the last trader, Bob. Uh, I'll take another rad remover. And for my final reward, I could get another level 6 um, M6 state, or I could get a gyrocopter parts bundle. I think I'll just take that. Okay, I got the accessories, that's kind of okay, I guess. But it'll save me some time much later on in the game. Um, Getting the gyrocopter main thing is obviously going to be harder. Open combat 6. I want that because I wear heavy armor. Okay, read that. Now I'll have a much easier time moving around in combat. Also, custom fittings there. 89% uh, mobility. Great. So what I need to do now is get my hands on better vehicles. That's the first thing. I need to... I've got a skill point. Let's put that in. Another point of well insulated. Why not? Um... Yeah, I need vehicles. I'll need another 20 books to get the motorcycle. That's going to be really hard without putting points in it. I can maybe put one point in Grease Monkey. How am I going to get the gyrocopter parts without having to collect 75 of those stupid books? I could level another trader. It only took me 16 days to level the first one. I could get a lot more done now that I have, you know, all these guns. That would be kind of boring for a few days. I'm not sure, I'll have to think about it. But we've completed tier 6 with the traders and I've got some serious weapons and armor now. I just need better vehicles and a couple of other things. And then I want to focus on making like a self-sustainable base. Not a horde base because I've made this challenge in such a way that a horde base is just never going to work. But, you know, like a base to live in with a farm, that's something I want to have. So we can start working on that as well. Let me know if you're still enjoying the series, and in the meantime... Special thank you to my members and patrons. If you want to become one of those, there are links in the description to do so. If you enjoyed this video, why not check out another one? I would recommend the one on the top right. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.